Hey everyone, YouTube. Welcome back to CCTT. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different in technology as opposed to our standard uh, computers. We're going to be looking at is technology inside of uh, shower installs and caulking. Um, it's just as important as looking at whether a piece of RAM fits in uh, or the newest motherboard. So today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Hopefully this helps. Uh, people who are going to be looking this up um, may hit my channel. Please feel free to look at all the other stuff that we look at. Uh, as we move forward. So today we're looking at a product called uh, Mapsill. Uh, this is the T plus. And so there's uh, some issues with the 100% pure silicone and that's the expiration date. Now, if you go to Lowe's, you're gonna find out that uh, it's very difficult to uh, determine the expiration date when you're sitting there unless someone's given you uh, the code. Now the code on the Mapsill is actually um, right, let's see if I can get this right up here for you, um, right there. Now that number, the two letters in the beginning of this um, are basically, they don't mean anything. What they are is just uh, placement holders, they, there's a code internally for them. The next two letters or two numbers are the actual date that this was manufactured. And so you're looking at, uh, in this case, I believe this is a 22, so it was uh, produced in uh, 2022. And then the next three numbers represent the actual date that it was manufactured. In this case, it's 53, so or 55. So if you look at the dates um, here, you'll see that uh, 55 corresponds with December 5th, so it was manufactured in just, uh, the 20. Um, 21, actually, correction, I got that wrong. I, I was sort of from the bottom. February 24th of 2022. Um, so that's when it was actually manufactured. And um, you take one year from that date and that'll tell you the shelf life. So if it's older than uh, the date that you currently are planning on using it, then you, you're gonna run into problems. It's not going to uh, have the chemical reaction that you want. What I want you to know is that, and I'm gonna flip this over so that we can actually, well, let's see if we can do it this way. All right. Um, one of the quickest ways of determining whether or not this is going to work when you have a pretty important install is that you want to make sure that your date and then make a, a small pattern for your tab and you can dab out a piece of that and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna let mine sit for about a half hour and see whether or not they skin over. Now, on this case, uh, I've got um, a mocha on some of the darker co uh, corners that I plan on using and a few of these other lighter colors I plan on using. Notice that I have a 21, three, four, excuse me, 340. And 340 represents, uh, I believe that would be December 6th. And so it was produced on December 6th. Um, I had to put an A and a B because I had two of the same expiration dates. So what you do is you put on the bottom the uh, corresponding letter so that you know which one you're actually going to be testing. And so um, you'll notice at the bottom here, uh, 1-800-992-6273. Uh, that's the number you want to call if you are still unsure of whether or not it's expired. And the uh, gentleman, uh, uh, whoever is operating it, I happen to get a gentleman at the time named Brian, who was fantastic. Uh, he gave me the information I needed, told me how to decode this. Um, so I'm going to send this off to YouTube so that uh, people are able to at least get a, um, get a better understanding. So again, that number is 1-800-992-6273. I did get that off of a separate post. I can't remember exactly where it came from. Um, but anyways, uh, that, that number came from there. I couldn't find it anywhere else. There's not a lot of information, and certainly no videos on this uh, uh, MaxL uh, Plus uh, when you look on YouTube. So anyways, thank you. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. 